Hey what's up YouTube and welcome to my new video. Today I want to show you how to install a custom ROM to your Galaxy S4. So what you just need for this is a USB cable to connect your S4 to the computer. Then you need to know your exact model number. You can find the model number on the back of the packaging. As you can see here I have the GTI 9505. So be sure to note this down. It's just on the back of the box as you can see here. And you can also check this model number on the phone. To do this you have to turn it on and go to settings. So here swipe to unlock, then you go to apps and then you go to settings. And here you go to a more on the top and on the bottom to about device. Then you scroll down until you see model number and be sure to note this down because you will need this in order to install a custom ROM. The next thing we have to do is go to develop options and activate USB debugging. You should find the develop options here. If you can't see them you just go to about device and you have to activate them. Here on about device you scroll down to the build number and there you have to tap the build number 7 times and then the developer mode will be unlocked. As you can see I'm now 2 steps away from being a developer and now develop options got unlocked. And now you can go back and go to develop options and there we will um, activate the USB debugging mode. So just tick this box here for USB debugging and then you are ready to go. And now we will go to the computer and now we will show you how to install a custom ROM for your Galaxy S4. Ok guys, now we are on the computer and now I will show you what you need to install your custom ROM. So the first thing you need to do is install a custom recovery. To do this you need a flashing tool which is called Odin. Be sure to download the latest version of this which is um, currently 3.07. And now you need a recovery ROM. You can download this recovery ROM on this site here, it's galaxyas4root.com. The link is in the description and then you go down here. And as you can see you can flash different types of recoveries. Um, the most common one is the clockwork mod, the CWM recovery and here you can see for what device um, it will work. And you can also see there's another one which is called TWRP recovery and there are just some differences as you can see if you have a GTI9500 or the GTI9505 it doesn't matter which one you take but if you have an AT&T um, or a Verizon Galaxy S4 you have to take the clockwork mod recovery because for the TWRP you have to in use Goom Manager to install TWRP after routing, so you have to have a rooted device. And I will take the Clockwork Mod Recovery CWM for my GTA i9505, so I downloaded this here. Be sure to take the right version. If you flash a wrong version, you can break your phone. Okay, then here we have the recovery, and here we have Odin. That's the two things we need at the first step. And now we need to bring our phone into the downloading mode and I will show you now how to do this. Ok we are now on the phone and the first thing you have to do is shut down your phone. So press the um, power button and shut down your phone. Wait until it's completely off. And now we have to bring our phone into the downloading mode and to do this we have to press the volume down key on the phone, the home button and the power button at once. So you press them and you keep holding them until you can see the downloading mode. So let's try this, press them and keep holding them. As you can see it should say um, now a warning, a custom OS can cause critical problems and you can see this yellow triangle so just read this and then press the volume up key to continue. And now your phone is in downloading mode that means it's ready to install a custom recovery and now we will plug the USB cable into the device connected to the computer and on the computer we start installing the custom recovery. Ok now on your PC you have to open up the Odin flashing tool so just go into this folder then do a right click on the exe file and go to run as admin. Now if you have done anything, everything correctly then you should see this blue bar here and it should say any comfort here. On your device it could say COM2, COM5, it doesn't matter which one. And here you just look that this box is ticked, this one, and don't tick this box in the middle here. So only tick those, those two boxes. Then you go to PDA and click on this. And now you point to the recovery.tar file. As you can see it's the only one you can choose. So choose this and press open. And now we press the start button to flash the recovery ROM onto our Galaxy S4. 
So now it starts flashing the recovery onto our Galaxy S4. Be patient, don't turn your PC off, don't turn your Galaxy S4 off, wait until Odin says pass. And if you think it takes a long time, just be patient, don't do anything because there's a high risk that you can break your phone. And now just wait for it to finish. As you can see, um, the Galaxy S4 rebooted, but you can't use it right now because Odin didn't say pass. Just wait for it, it will reboot uh, several times and don't do anything, don't touch it. Now the computer detects the device. As you can see it says pass now, that means it is okay. And now we can exit Odin. And your device should be recognized by your computer. So as you can see, um, Galaxy S4 Tech Tutor. So just go in there and on your phone storage, you copy in your um, ROM you want to flash. And you can, you can flash any ROM you want to, but please watch out that you um, download the right one for the, your right Galaxy S4 version. If you flash a um, i9500 ROM to an i9505, you can break it. So double check the version of the ROM and then copy it to your um, Galaxy S4 phone storage. This can take some time because it's a big file, it's almost 2 GB and then we will start um, flashing the ROM on the phone. Okay, we're now on the phone and now we need to bring it to recovery mode. To do this you have to turn off your phone, so press the power button and power it off. Then wait until it's completely off. And this works like the downloading mode, but you have to press um, the volume up key on your phone, which is on the left side. And then you have to press the home button and the power button at once. And you, and you press them and keep holding them until you can see the boot screen. So let's try this out. Hold them and wait until the boot screen appears. Now the boot screen comes and now we release them. And then it should boot you in recovery. You can see this on the blue text message on the left top corner. As you can see, we're now in the recovery menu. And to navigate through this menu, you can use the volume up and the volume down key. And if you want to enter any option, you just have to press the power button, which is the enter key. And if you want to go back, there's also a back button on the bottom you can press. And now I'll show you what you need to install your custom ROM. So the first thing you have to do is go down to wipe data factory reset. You can go down by pressing the volume up and volume down keys. And then you have to accept these options by pressing the power key. We will need this um, data factory reset in order to get a clean installation of the custom ROM and all your um, user data will get deleted. So only do this if you have made a backup of your files so you can um, get your files back. And now it starts wiping all your data, so just wait for it until it says um, data wipe complete. As you can see, um, the data wipe is completed now, and now we'll install the custom ROM. To do this, you navigate down to install zip from SD card. Go down with your volume down key. And here you uh, accept this by pressing the power button. And then you go to choose zip from SD card. And now you browse for the um, ROM you want to install. So I will take the Omega ROM here. And now you press um, the power button again. And then you go to yes, install the ROM. And now it starts installing the ROM. This process can take up to 15 minutes. So just be patient. Don't turn your phone off or remove the battery or something. Just wait until it finishes. As you can see now, I will install here the Omega ROM, so you have to go through this menu, just press and exit every step and install any apps you want to. You can check the, the apps you want to have installed and just go through all these menus here by pressing the next button until it starts the installation. Then just wait until the installation is complete, so this can take up up to 15 minutes. And here on the Omega ROM you have to go through a second menu and then the phone should reboot and take you into the custom ROM. So let's see if this has worked. Okay, so as you can see I'm now on the Omega ROM and now let's enter my PIN code. And after the first start you have to reconfigure your phone like you did after unpacking your phone. So just enter your language and all the settings and your Google account and after you're done with that hit the finish button. Then update your Samsung account the last time. And after this is done I will go to settings and show you that I'm really on the Omega ROM. So let's go to apps and settings. must be here. Then we go to more, then to about device, 
And on about device you can scroll down to build number and there you can see on which ROM you are. As you can see I'm on the Omega version 9.0 ROM and as you can see this tutorial has worked for me. I hope it also works for you and if you have any questions feel free to ask, write a comment here on YouTube and if it was helpful please leave a like and rate it positive and thanks for watching my video and see you in the next time. Bye.